Hi, this is Dawn. I wanted to share a passage with you from Ephesians chapter 4. And uh, this passage is talking about um, unity within the body of Christ. Um, and it says this, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all. There is indeed one light and one life and one love that we are held within and that binds us together. It within our own sphere, within our own being, our own field, we are one. We may feel sometimes like, you know, um, and, and I've experienced this in, you know, kind of a dramatic way in terms of my, my childhood journey, um, but, you know, like we may feel like there are various parts or voices um, or something doesn't quite fit or doesn't belong. It, it's all, we are all one within. We are one within this, you know, twin flame um, relationship. Um, if you can call it a relationship, is um, we are we are one. We are held together, uh, no matter how broken things seem, and particularly in terms of looking at um, some of our uh, journeys, like there, it can be jarring sometimes, or when we, you know, see the reality that appears to be presenting itself, it can appear as the opposite of that. And then finally, collectively, and we've all seen, um, seen those deep divisions, deep wounds playing out that are com coming to the surface, um, and also the, um, hmm, the uh, places where, you know, individuals and groups do not feel as if they uh, belong or if this, as if their voices are heard or as if they matter. Um, and we have seen that, you know, even previous to uh, the recent U.S. election, we have seen that in the United States in terms of um, various, um, various ways that um, that has uh, shown itself in various facets of our collective experience. So I really wanted to call us back to the realization of uh, what, um, what binds us together. And that is the one light and the one life and the one love flowing through us. So many of us have um, had opportunities um, recently to revisit, you know, old patterning, um, old wounds that um, can f feel as if, um, Oh, what am I trying to say here? As if, um, mm, it's, you know, we're weary. We're weary. And it can also, there can be things that come up where maybe mis uh, things we have judged as a mistake, which of course there are no mistakes, but like we maybe have judged something as a mistake that we made along the way in terms of the twin flame journey, in terms of our own um, healing. Um, and, uh, and even uh, our uh, contribution to the collective or where we have um, shown up for others. And sometimes when we're, we're hard on ourselves and we can look at that and we can believe that we are not worthy of the calling we have received. Um, that was pointed out to me um, in three times in very different ways. Um, and um, you know what, we are, we are um, the Twin Flame community an angelic presence here to be love and to usher in an era of unconditional love on this good earth that we share. And we are one love coming forward, standing strong together. And so I just hope that as we move forward that we can embody that energy and know that we are worthy of the calling we have received and to be humble and gentle, to be patient, and to bear with one another in love, and to make every effort to keep that unity of spirit as we go forward and um, are one in the bond of love and peace. And this is how they will know us, by our love, by our love.
great day, everyone.